Okay, uh, so for this problem, problem 67, we are being asked the electric field of a dipole. Okay. Uh, so let's say that I have two charges and minus Q here, some plus Q here that's separated by some distance L. Uh, and in the text, they are calculating the electric field of a dipole that's perpendicular to the dipole moment. Now here they're asking for the electric field at a far point that's uh, along the dipole moment. So let's just extend this. And we are being asked the magnitude of the electric field at that point, and that point is separated distance r, and we are told that this r is much bigger than the dipole separation L. Okay? So uh, we are going to use this, we are going to use this to make some approximations, and those approximations are going to be based on the so-called uh, binomial expansion. Okay? So binomial expansion is something that has a lot of applications. So it's basically 1 plus x to the power n is going to be approximately 1 plus nx if the absolute value of x is much smaller than 1. Okay. This just follows from the uh, Taylor expansion of this function around x equals 0. And if you need actually higher order terms, uh, x squared x cubed, you can just uh, carry out the expansion to a higher order as well. So. Uh, this is basically what we are going to use. So we have to turn our expressions into a form, one plus a small number uh, to some power, right, to utilize that one. So let's write down the electric field at this point. What does it look like? Well, the electric field, the magnitude, is going to be the magnitude of the electric field that's uh, coming from the plus charge plus the electric field magnitude coming from the uh, minus charge, right? So these, these are going to be anti-parallel to each other. So uh, they're along the same line. So I can just use the magnitudes. I don't need to do an explicit vector sum, but I have to be careful. They're in opposite direction. So the magnitudes are actually going to be subtracted off from each other, not just added. So let's write this down. Uh, this one is going to be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by the distance squared. That distance is L, uh, sorry, r minus L over 2. Uh, r minus L over 2 square. Now I'm going to have a minus sign here because there, this Q is actually itself is uh, minus. Uh, and the distance for that one is uh, R plus L over 2. R plus L over 2 squared. Okay. Now, uh, as I said, I want to utilize uh, that approximation, binomial expansion. And to do that, I have to take these and turn them into, uh, into a form, uh, one plus a small number. Right? So to do that, if this is correct, if r is much larger than l, uh, then r over l, sorry, l over r is much smaller than one. Okay? So I want to get an expression like this. And to do that, I'm going to take these into r squared common parentheses. Okay? And these are already common. Q over 4 pi epsilon naught are already common. So I can rewrite this expression as Q over uh, 4 pi epsilon naught r square. Now the first expression is going to be 1 over 1 minus L over 2 r squared okay. minus the second expression is going to be 1 over 1 plus L over 2r squared. Okay. Now, uh, these are of this form. Here, uh, my x is minus L over 2r. My n is minus 2. Okay. And here, my x is L over 2r. My n is minus 2. So I can utilize binomial expansion. So this is q over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. If I binomial expand this one, 1 minus lower r2 square. This is going to be 1 plus, so n is minus 2. Let's just write this explicitly. And x is uh, minus l over 2r plus, or sorry, minus 1 uh, plus, or again, minus because of this minus sign, minus 2 uh, l over 2r. Okay, so this 
becomes plus. This gets canceled by this one, and this also becomes plus. All right, so what I get is Q 4 pi epsilon naught R square times uh, twice L over 2R. Okay. Oh, sorry, uh, 4 times L over 2R. There's a 2 coming from here. 4 times L over 2R, that's 2 L over R. And so this is going to be 2 L Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R cube, uh, which is, of course, uh, what's required in the problem.